In this iMachining Tutorial Series Video 1, we will create a milling cam part and iMachining operation. This video will cover saving and retrieving the example part file, adjusting default cam settings, and creating a new cam part definition. Finally, we will cover the basics of creating a new iMachining operation. We will create a new machine database select a material database, select a simple closed pocket geometry, define a tool, select the levels, and simulate the toolpath. First, we'll need to open our example SolidWorks part. Please note that this part file does not come with the installation of SolidCam. The example file will be included with this video tutorial. I placed this file in a training folder that I created on my C drive. I recommend you do the same. Now let's open up SolidWorks. Go to File and select Open. When the dialog opens, let's look in the C drive under Computer. Select the training folder from the list and then choose the SC Aerospace Part 1 and open it. Before we begin, let's change the default CNC controller. Go to the SolidCam drop down menu. Solid Cam, Solid Cam Settings, go to Default CNC Controller in the list. Here, we can browse the database and select the Haas SS G Milling Post as our default CNC controller. Let's also disable the automatic cam part definition for both the stock and target. By default, these settings are enabled. Go to Automatic Cam Part Definition in the list, uncheck Definition of Stock, and Definition of Target. Then, click OK to close the dialog. Now this part is ready to go into SolidCam for programming. We need to create a new CAM part using the SolidCam drop-down menu. SolidCam, New, Milling. Let's click OK to accept the file name and location for the SolidCam part. Next, we will need to define the coordinate system also known as the part zero for this job. There is already a coordinate system created using SolidWorks. To use that, we will click Select Coordinate System, then select the already created coordinate system from the list below, and then click OK to accept. Now we click OK to accept the default Z levels. Next, we will define the stock material for this job. We will define this stock by a 3D model since there is already a solid body created representing the stock material. Click on any portion of the stock body and then accept the selection. Defining the target is similar. Click Define 3D Model, then we can select the target geometry. Click OK to accept. Now we can click the green check mark to complete the CAM part definition. To make a new eye machining operation, click the eye machining icon on the solid cam operation ribbon. Next, we will need to define the machine database. As you could see here, a Haas SS is included with the installation of solid cam for other walkthrough exercises. For this exercise, let's create a new machine database. Under the machine list, click the new icon. A dialog will prompt us to enter a name for the new machine database. Let's name it Haas SS New. Clicking Save verifies the database has been successfully created. There are three important values needed in the machine database. They are represented here by the yellow fields. We will need to enter the maximum RPM of the spindle, the maximum feed rate G1, and the maximum power of the spindle. Clicking Next will bring us to selecting a material database. These are provided. All we need to do is select the desired material. If there is no database matching the material we are cutting, selecting a similar material will be fine. Clicking Finish will bring up the iMachining Operation Manager. For this example, we will select a simple closed pocket. 
We will click Define and then select one of the edges of a closed pocket. Clicking Auto Constant Z will close the geometry. Now, we can click Accept and bring back up the Operation Manager. Moving down the tree, next we need to create a new tool. Clicking Select will bring up the tool table. Click on the Add Milling Tool icon. This will be a flat end mill with a half inch or 12 millimeter diameter and four flutes. Clicking Select will close the tool table and bring back up the Operation Manager. Next on the tree are levels. Here, we'll need to pick the top of the stock as the upper level. Then we'll also pick the pocket depth as shown here. Now we can click Save and Calculate. After the calculation, we can view the toolpath using the Simulation button on the bottom of the dialog. First, we can play the toolpath in HostCAD that shows the wireframe toolpath on the 3D model. Now, we can use Solid Verify to view the tool moving through the solid stock material. Finally, let's exit the simulation to bring back up the Operation Manager. And this concludes Video 1 of the iMachining tutorial series, where we've created a milling cam part and iMachining operation. Thanks for watching! Please join us for Video 2 of the series using the iMachining Wizard.